an elderly woman was found lying in her yard by a neighbor. The neighbor called the police and the elderly woman was rushed to the hospital. She passed away at the hospital. An autopsy report concluded that the cause of death was a blunt force trauma wound to the head. The evidence showed that someone had struck 91-year-old Ruby Ditto in the head with a blunt object, most likely a hammer, at least seven times, and killed her. A few neighbor witnesses reported that a man by the name of Byron Ricard had been seen working with Ruby the day she was murdered. According to one witness, Ruby had been letting Byron, whom she believed to be a handyman, judging from the hammers and knives he was always carrying, stay in the trailer house on her property in exchange for cleaning up her yard. The same neighbor told police that she last saw Ruby talking with Byron in the yard. But when she looked out her window once more, she couldn't see either Ruby nor Byron, and Ruby's truck was gone. Curious, the neighbor went outside only to find Ruby lying on the ground bleeding from her head. Ruby was also missing a fanny pack that she always used as a purse. Another neighbor said that in the morning she saw Ricard helping Ruby remove items from the house, placing them in the back of Ruby's pickup. She also saw Ricard on the driver's side of Ruby's pickup truck, shortly afterward hearing the pickup drive off. As the trailer home in which Byron was supposedly staying was vacant, the police looked up Byron's last recorded address and went there to investigate. There, the police found, parked down the street from Ricard's last known house, Ruby's pickup. Inside the truck was Ruby's fanny pack, which friends also mentioned being a no-share item of Ruby's. She never took it off. Also in Ruby's truck were her cell phone and a hammer. Ah, and blood. Lots of blood. Detectives found blood splatter on the driver's seat, steering wheel, and inside panel of the driver's door. On the pickup's exterior, the detectives found blood on the passenger side, behind the passenger door on the front corner of the truck bed. Byron was found across the street, sitting at a neighbor's porch and chatting. When asked by the police whether Byron had been anywhere that day, he responded that he was mowing an old lady's lawn in the morning and returned home around lunchtime. Byron said that he does not know the old lady, but he has been helping her and other ladies in the neighborhood take care of their properties, cleaning, mowing, painting, just out of the goodness of his heart. In exchange, some of the ladies he helped let him borrow things, such as the truck down the street. The police explained to Byron that they were performing an investigation and requested Byron to come down to the station to give a statement. Byron went willingly. Let's see what he said. Hey Byron, before we start getting into everything, I just want to tell you right now, you're not under arrest, you understand that, right? Like, you're not going to go to jail once you look at it, I want to talk to you about some things and kind of figure out what's going on. Okay. Okay. Um, so you are detained. If at any time you want to stop, just tell me that you want to peace out and we'll take you back home, okay? Right. But I really need to get a statement from you to kind of understand what's going on and why we're recalled tonight, okay? I'll start at the beginning and that's all I can tell you is, is what happened. All right. So I'll be more happy to. So I'm going to start my tape recorder. So you start. All right. Today's date is April the 28th. So the time is 6.02 p.m. My name is Detective Nick Thurston, batch member 620, and I'm speaking with Byron Ricard, is that correct? Ricard. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Can you spell that for me? R-I-C-K-A-R-D. And Byron? Yes, sir. Is it B-Y-R-O-N? Yes, sir. Do you have a middle name? Jack. What's your date of birth? 1677. And what's your address? 2101 Garfield. I uh, just had the electric turned on out there on uh, North Beverly. So North Beverly. Just yeah. had it turned on yesterday. Okay. Uh, I don't know if, I, well, I think they were supposed to turn on last night at midnight. Uh, I've been pretty much more grass. So. Okay. What's the uh, phone number for you? Uh, 447? 1147. Okay. Um, when were you supposed to, I mean, when did you make arrangements to move in out there on North Carolina? Well, uh, there was a louder issue, and I hit her up today. Um, when I went to go take a shower and stuff last night, I turned water on, and man, it came out solid white for like five minutes. I mean, okay. white. So I went and sat in the bowl for a little bit, and we'd sit, you know, and that no, it stayed solid white. Okay. So I was like, okay, this, this can't be good. 
So when she got there today, uh, you know, I'm, I was there all night. Got up early this morning. Um, so you were staying on North Beverly last night? No, just last night. Just last night? Just last night. Last night was the first night that she was there? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, the the lady, what's her name? I mean, I can't remember. Um, okay. I had just met her that day. Um, I was walking down. I can't remember even which tree she was on. But I can show you the house. It's a real big house. And okay. she had a, um, two handicap stickers in her car. And I was like, wow, there's this huge tree that fell in her yard. It's laying all over the driveway, half on a car, or half on a fence. So I just I walked up and started cutting up the fence. I mean, started cutting up the tree. Yesterday. Yes, sir. Yesterday would have been the 27th. Yes, sir. So you just walking and just for just for Tom's sake and, and reference sake, I believe she lives on North Beverly. No, ma'am. Oh, no, sir. Oh, she so, has two rent properties. Oh, okay. She has, she has, property. she has a huge, beautiful home. Okay. But I noticed uh, an American flag, and I noticed what looked like, you know, that they needed help. I mean, two cars with the stickers on them, and I was, gotcha. Gotcha. I was like, okay, cool. This tree was this big around, and it's all across the yard. So she don't know where she lives. But she lives there, in the house I'm talking about. I can show you the street. No, sir. No, okay. sir. I, I'm going to take you to it, like, okay. like in a split second. But um, I saw that. I pulled out and just started cutting up, breaking off the limb, standing the brush to one side. And it looked like they had been in a while. The yard hadn't been done and all that stuff. And, you know, I'm all about helping out the troops, helping out, you know, us, you know, the city. So I just started doing it. So I started doing it. She came out and started talking to me. And I was like, I'm just trying to help you out here, ma'am. I noticed you have an issue. And she's like, yeah, the guy I had work for me died. And I was like, oh, man, that sucks. And I was like, well, she's like, I can't pay for this. And I was like, I'm not asking you to pay me now. I said, this is just out of, of Christianity. This is this is for God. This is for me. This is for you. I was like, you don't owe me nothing. I was like, I'll move it for you. I'll hold it off. I'll do all that stuff. Okay. So um, she sat there and she said, well, well, hold on a minute. She said, talk to me. And I was like, all right. And she's like, where do you live? Did you pay your bills? And I was like, he, he, yes, ma'am. And she was like, well, I got a place for you. Man, she gave me a car. She gave me all kinds of stuff. Man, she gave me a car. She said I could pay that off. I started paying rent. Turned my electricity on in my name. I told her, I said, I do not want you to do anything in your name. I said, please allow me at least, you know, to do all that. And she's like, I prefer you do it. Like she that. gave you a car. What car did she give you? A uh, green car. Okay. Escort. Where's that at? And it's at the North Beverly address. Okay. And they pulled up and they got pushed out. And I was going to use the truck. So I went back to jump it off. We already talked about that. Okay. And I, I was going back to get the rest of my stuff. And I was going back. I've got everything packed up there at the house. Okay. Uh, uh, she brought me lunch at noon today. Yes, sir. Okay. I was mowing grass. I did all the the property there. She brought lunch. Her and the Mexican lady that was there. I guess she's Mexican. I guess. I have no idea. Did she come with this lady? Uh, no. She had a gold pickup truck. Okay. She came in a gold pickup truck. I told her to park under my awning. And uh, but they came at the same time. Hmm. Pretty much. Maybe about 30 minutes after. But yeah, might have been the same time, but I mean, it was, you know, relatively close. I was too busy working. You know, I mean, I was focused. It was beautiful, and it was early. It was nice and cool this morning. So I figured while it was, you know, cool, I could get as much as I could. Started knocking stuff out, and maybe she went to uh, Subway, got us all a sandwich, brought it back. We were sitting there, you know, chilling. And uh, was she doing work as well? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Lady in the gold pickup. Yeah. She. I was holding her bank because she does not. Uh, she's not too. Uh, okay. So I went in and I was teaching how to paint. I told her, you know, to tape off. I said, "What you don't tape off, so don't worry about your corners." I said, "The thing is, you're going side to side. I said, make sure you got a lot of material on your brush, on your roller. Start at the top, make a single roll down. And I said, then move to the other side and go down. Okay. I said, don't go back and forth. You know, I'm trying, just trying to teach you how to paint. Okay. So just a little quick, because I've not been out there. Uh, this this place at, on North Beverly is it a is it a home is it a house? There's three. Okay. There's the big house up front. Okay. There is um, apartment. I guess you call it B, and then mine, which is C. Okay, so you're apartment C. I'm apartment C, which is actually a trailer. Is this a, like a camper trailer or it's a, like a school, school mobile home uh, with the awning on it? Okay. And then there's the other house that. I went in and I had to, I had to get fecal my human shit. Somebody was squatting in the corner and taking shit and squatting over here and peeing over here and 
they would man, they reach me bad. Well, when you talked about getting water turned on in your name, electricity turned on in your name, it's actually for this trailer. Yeah, oh, I've got uh, the electricity on. Okay. But that's what the whole thing was. Is she wanted to pay the water. Water's trash. And I told her we shouldn't have to discuss that. I said, because uh, it ran out wide. I mean, it was wide. And I told her, I was like, you got a dead rat in here. I see it in the tank. Mm -hmm. And you see where the rats are chewing around and it's got shit like turds all the way around it. Like, okay, outside the tank. It's pretty, pretty so we're talking about the water reservoir outside of the local home? Out for all the properties. It's right in the center of the property. Okay. And it's got this huge white, like, um, like it looks like an old field. And it's got shit all the way around it. It's like rats have been chewing on it to try to get in. So it's well water then? Yes, sir. Okay. And I told her, I said, you know, I, I'd rather pay for my water. If I could get city water, I'd much rather do that than around well water. Because okay. I, I don't know. That's gross. I mean, you know, that's pretty damn nasty. And uh, I'm written for Mr. Evans now. Um, he's a retired motorcycle. Is he? I think he's a trooper. Okay. This is the 2100 uh, Garfield address. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I've been waiting for him, from him for about four months. And uh, if this, if I can't get water done, since I haven't even lived at the other residence, I'm coming back. Okay. Because I can't not. I mean, that, and you know, I'm. I take care of a, a vet. He's a, a vet guy. And how long have you been living at 2100 Garfield? 2101. Four months at that location. Two months at the other one. Right next door. Okay. So they're the... Uh, it's a duplex. Like, yeah. Yes, sir. No, we're them sisters live on one side, and I don't know. Either. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, I... Is there anything wrong with the Garfield address? Other than the company? <laughs> I mean, other than the company, no. It's beautiful. I've been helping them try to straighten up this place, get it all fixed up. Uh, I like it. I like it. That, in fact, it, uh, it's... That, in fact, that he's a PD guy, mm -hmm. I can call and you know, I ain't got shit to worry about. If I see something out back, I got a guy here with a gun. Okay. And then there's guys shooting guns, and you know, there's they're dealing with dope in the back. I ain't got no problem with doing that. Because I don't play money on it. Okay. You know, so I, I don't call it snitching. That's why somebody sees me snitching. You're not call it snitching because I don't get paid. You can't get, you can't get good information if you're snitching. Mm -hmm. Just if you're paying somebody, they're using that dope money or whatever to get dope. I ain't gonna no freaking snitch. Okay. I mean, I do it for, you know. But no, I, I was cleaning up that trash, and that was it. And I went to the house, go get the rest of my stuff, um, and I was going back. I'm waiting for a phone call. But when I got home, it was weird. My phone, if you look at my phone, it reset itself. It's not that weird. Like, as soon as I got to the house, it was just reset. So is, there, is, is there any reason why yesterday, when you walked by this lady's house and you saw a tree... In a fence line, and he felt just, you know, didn't no, it wasn't even in the fence line, it was outside, like it was uh, by the driveway, but it fell and crossed the fence and okay. it hit the van and like went home in the yard and crossed the, I mean, in the darkness of your heart, you decided, I'm going to say you for these ladies. Well, so you sir. You know, she's elderly, she's got a handicap. Type. I didn't even know if they were, I didn't even know it was a lady. I mean, all I knew is I saw two vehicles, both of them had handicap placards. Right. And I saw the American flag, and it was down on the ground. So I went over there, picked it up, on the American flag up, and started going to work. Okay. Now, when she offers you at that at that time yesterday a place to stay, and you already had a place to stay, mm -hmm. what made you decide? The okay. donors. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to do that shit, man. And she offered me a location. It felt like it was an out. Yeah, I mean, it was a beautiful location. Mm -hmm. It's uh, she gave me a freaking car, dude. I mean, it was, um, it was a way up. Not a way out. It was a way up. And I'm not looking for a way out of nothing because you know I mean I've been sober for I've been sober for a while. Uh, dope, alcohol, beer. I mean I haven't done nothing. I quit smoking pot. Been doing that since I was twelve. So I mean, well, good. So, what? When did you walk by this house yesterday? When did all this start happening? I'm at like I don't know. Ten o'clock yesterday. Morning. morning. Yes, sir. Okay. And you were, I guess, sounds like you were with her pretty much the entire day. Uh, she went in, she showered, all of her stuff. I did some paperwork for the for the house until like twelve. Okay. And she took me to go get the right materials to paint because she's kind of senile. You know. So when she went in, she was talking room to people, and I was just like, well, I was talking to this. I rebuilt houses. Let it allow me. Where did I go for paint? Uh, Lowe's. Okay. And you said that was about noon? Yes, sir. We bought a $175 bottle of Vals, or five-gallon bucket of Valspar and some rollers and roller heads. 
Yeah, we might have bought a brush or two. Okay. But yes. Other than that, I mean, that was that was it. Was she alone? Did, was there anybody else with her? Oh, uh, well, we went and saw the old lady, or the, the lady that was painting. That's when I met her. I gave her the. Yeah, that's just. Did she live in the same place? Or was, was I don't even know where she lived. She left. Okay. Like, um, we stayed there, and I was teaching her how to paint. She'll have to take you off. I said, you're resting on the floor. I said, you're, it's, it's going to be to hell trying to get that paint off. So, was this lady painting that apartment yesterday as well? Or that? Yeah, well, we, well, we were trying to get the shit out the floor. Okay. Like, it was piles of human feces just, like, sh everywhere. I mean, it was... In the uh, home also? In the home. Dude, I'm talking about home. Okay. I thought you were talking about your trailer. No, the trailer, uh, I don't know what was in it. It don't smell. Like, it don't smell like pee or feces. But the one that I was helping her with, I pulled the mattress out of, and there was poop in the corner, and the whole, I mean, the whole bathroom. It was like they missed the toilet. Mm -hmm. And it was, like, on the walls. It was, it was, it was, I don't know what the hell. But and it gave me a real sick feeling. I walked out, I couldn't breathe. I don't know how that chick was standing there. Okay. I mean, both of them. The old lady came and smell it. And I was like, I was, I can't go in there. I said, y'all gotta, I gotta get a, a mask and I can go in there, I can do all this for y'all. But I need this, this, and this. Okay. And that was yesterday, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so you you were helping them paint, helping them move, teaching them. And then when we got my stuff and unloaded it, she took me to Walmart, took me shopping. Uh, she got me uh, a few edible items. Okay. When did you go to Walmart? Oh, man, it was getting late. Uh, I went to her house and dropped off her stuff. I'd say it, it was getting dark, so I'd say about 9 when we left Walmart. Okay. Uh, we wasn't there too long. We sat there and talked for a while, uh, filming in on me and this and that. And that was it. Okay. I really liked her. She was pretty cool, too. She was real friendly. Well, she was friendly if she liked you, but she's real rude and real sharp to other people. Like, okay. it was really kind of weird. Did she ever get sharp to you? Hmm. No? Okay. No, no, she's cool with me. I was actually telling her, you know, she wanted to go shortcuts. I was like, well, really, I said, ma'am, I said, you really shouldn't rent this new location. I said, you, you need to get a contractor out of here. Where the windows are, I said, there's mold. I said, you can't do that to somebody. You're going to bring your kid over here, and you're going to get a kid, you know, lung disease. And I said, you, you, you need to actually, you know, get somebody in here. And she yelled at me one time. I took a nail, and I hit it one time with a hammer, and she went, Froom. she said, you're not hitting the wood. And I'm like, I'm in the middle of the two-by-four. That's when I said, that's all mold. Mm -hmm. And then she didn't believe me. Well, she got a nail, and she went, and she's like, mm, well, I guess I'll just cover that up with tape. So she put tape on it. I was like, well, I was like, well, if that's what you want to do. So I just let him have it, and I went back and mowed my grass, and I was like, y'all can come and have that. Yeah. But I talked to her, I said, hey, man, is that today? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, that was... I'm trying to I'm trying to get, you know, a pretty solid timeline of yesterday. Uh, uh, yesterday was Walmart. Yesterday, yesterday was Walmart. Walmart. In Walmart? Yes, sir. And that was it. And then it's right around for nine, and that was it. So yesterday, and I'm, I'm going to repeat it back to you. Uh, yesterday, you went to her house, found out, you know, cut this lady's tree. Uh, she offered you a place to stay. You started filling out paperwork. At that time, you went to Lowe's, got some paint, got some rollers, got some brushes, went over to this new location on North Beverly. You started teaching these people how to paint. You started removing, you know, feces from, from the house. You have a real good job. Um, having some, you know, you know, kind of telling them some things that they need to do with the house. Um, you went to Walmart later that evening, uh, left Walmart around 9 p.m., did you go back to the place on North Beverly at that time? Yeah. Yeah, she dropped me off. I went to her house first. So sometime in there, you, you went to, to Garfield and was starting picking yourself up and bringing her in. Yeah, um, that was that was right before we went to Walmart. Okay. That was right before we went to Walmart. We got most of my stuff, got it over there. And uh, now what are you hauling this stuff in? Her, uh, her pickup. The, the white one that was parked in the, the white gray light pickup. Yes, yes, okay. And it belongs to Jerry. It's not her pickup truck. Or Terry. Who's Terry? I don't know. Something that just died. All, all the vehicles she was telling me about it today, I was like, well, you need the registration changed on them. Okay. I was like, you can't be driving around vehicles that don't belong to you. And she, I went to her house. There's, man, I don't want to say this about the old lady. It looked like I had everything in it was stolen. It's all right. I had her okay, her house location, the one where I was kind of free. Oh, in her house? Yeah. I mean, it's full of nothing but brand new stuff. Like, just full. Okay. Like, full. I was like, uh, I was confused. 
Okay. And that was just it. I just, okay. She gave me a pair of socks and a pair of shoes, uh, and that, that was it, man. <laughs> and he took me back. I uh, woke up this morning at about, I don't know, 6.30, got me a cup of coffee, started my Bible, uh, turned on my audio Bible, sat there on the, on the dresser out there, and sat there and chilled, pet the cat, drank my coffee, eating the yogurt and a banana. Was this the trailer? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, got done with that, and then I just started going to work. I mean, there was all kinds of stuff that needed to be done, so I just I just started doing it. Uh, got trees off the fence line, picked up the sticks from the center of the yard, piled them up, and mowed. I'd say at least three of the lots. Uh, it's a lot of property. Uh, started knocking it out. Um... I was working. She said, you want to oh, pull, pull your car out when we were doing the garage sale. She's going to split half the money with me. And uh, she said, just get everything out. I was like, cool. So I started pulling all that stuff out of the, the awning, the stuff that was in the two houses. Pulled that out. And, you know, it rained last night, so I was getting the electronics. I put those out in the, the sun, let them dry. Mm-hmm. That way I could test them, see if they worked. If they did work in the trash. She wanted to keep everything. Major hoarder. I mean, like, major, major order. I'm like, man, you can't keep clothes that's been pissed on, and you can't sell them. And she was like, well, I'm going to sell everything. I was like, ma'am, you, you can't take pee on clothes and sell those unless you wash them. And I said, we're going to waste more money in water than you're going to get for the, the laundry. And I was like, we need to get rid of that. So uh, I did what she said anyway. Uh, went over there. I got another one, a whole bunch of the, the whole bunch of properties. Left the moment sitting right there. Told her what I was going to do. She said, okie dokie. And burned off. That was it. When did she come over today? Uh, same time or a little bit after the Mexican chick. I, you'd have to ask them. I, I was working. I don't, don't look at my watch. Okay. So there's a this Mexican lady is working on one of the houses as well. She's the one that's working in the pencil. Yeah, it's okay. real pissy and it's was it in the morning or was it in the afternoon? The, no, afternoon. I left that noon. You left that noon, okay. Yeah. Um, well, she probably was sandwich from Subway at what time? Uh, about 11 or so. I mean, yeah. I'm thinking it's 11. I mean, the, she would have had the, the, the Mexican lady would have a better timeline because she left with her. Okay. I mean, she would have a way better timeline. And they brought me back a Subway sandwich, uh, a bag of ladies, potato chips, and soda. I sat there and ate, got back up, started getting back on. And uh, I got the, the grass pretty much mowed, and I was like, hey, um, before it gets late, and I know I can talk to Stan, let me go in there and get the rest of my stuff. So I And that was all there was to it. When I come back, I was going to take the green car off and see if it was running real good. That's it. Okay. I mean, that's the, that's... Is there any reason why you parked across the street, across Avenue UK? On the other side of Garfield? So, so the guys want to steal my shit? And, and because you notice there's stuff in the back of it. Mm-hmm. And if I left it there, and I went inside for any amount of time, I'm afraid those guys went for my stuff, man. I mean, I can't, man, I left movies in a, a bucket, and they took them. Okay. I mean, that, I went 10 minutes inside. Okay. I mean, so I don't, I don't, I don't trust you. anything inside the truck that belongs to you. Sure, no, sir. Everything in search. Everything in the truck. Except for in the bed. In the bed, I have some books in the tent. Okay. The only thing in the truck is your, that's yours is in the bed. Books in the truck bed. Yes, sir. There's nothing in the cab. And I didn't take nothing out of the cab either. Didn't take nothing out of the truck. Okay. Um, everything that, that was hers is in the truck. Right. I didn't touch anything. I'm not the truck that she drives, correct? Yeah. She drove it there, and you basically, they're there working. You said, hey, I need to take the truck yeah. over. And it's, it's like I said, I think she said it was Anthony or Tony or Terry or something like that. It might be Tony. Okay. Which was short for Anthony. Works at a car wash, all I know. Okay. Uh, but I think it's his vehicle, Dallas Cowboy fan. Uh, which, I don't know, she was cleaning, she was taking stuff out of it today. Uh, it looked like it was. I don't man, I don't know. It is not funny to me. I don't know. If she said she's been doing these rain houses for a long time, you see enough shit about her house. Okay. Like, she no shit about paintings, you know, not, but she's been doing this for a long time. I was a bit confused, but, you know, I let it be what it was, and I just left. We got my stuff, and I was going to come right back. I sat and talked to them for a second. 
Okay. Let's see. And like I said, uh, if I can't get the water straight now, I'm going to be on Garfield. I mean, same spot I'm always at. <clears throat> and I thought I'm under a year. So you were going to go get your stuff. And go back to the, the Garfield. Go back to but I'm right, that's the Garfield. Yeah, but you're going to go back to our Garfield and get your stuff. That's when you left and, the truck. Yeah, I was going to go to North Beverly. Beverly. But if I don't get that phone call for the water to figure something out, uh, uh, I, I can't. I got to come back. I got to come back to Bar- Sure, absolutely. But, but were you supposed to pack your stuff up and go to North Beverly today? I already did. I got it all packed up and I'm sitting at the door waiting. I'm waiting for the phone call. If if, if they said no, then hey, I can't get. So you can't move there. anything until. Exactly. So I'm just sitting there chilling. And who was supposed to call you? The city? I can do that. But I get water. That's what I'm saying. My phone reset itself, so I don't really know what the hell's going on. Like, I was waiting for the city, I tried to turn my phone on, use my, my locking code, and it's, it's like it's not working. Okay. I really don't know what the hell's happening. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, I was just going to call the city again, I was fixing his damage phone. We were talking, saying, hey man, can we get a shut on? I mean, it ain't no big deal. If not, I was going to get the water shut on there at Garfield. It ain't no big Because, uh, Evans, Evans has electricity and gas already on. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, that's awesome. Uh, I'll pay city water all day long, I'll pay city water. Water's cheap. I mean, especially here. I've got well water over there. It smells like gasoline and, and pee. Mm-hmm. I mean, look, it, it, it smells like pee in it. I mean, it smells good. Right. Yeah. So, at that time, before you left, you guys didn't have any kind of argument. Was there mm-hmm. the lady there? The lady in the gold truck? Yeah. She was still there? Yeah. But she got outside or inside? She didn't She was inside of pain? I mean, I'm pretty sure. I'm not, I, don't, I don't know. I really wasn't. Like, I mean, I wouldn't like look at the zero that. Yeah. But when you left, the uh, the older lady that set you up, she was, what was she doing? I left. She she was cleaning out the truck. She was fixing to go inside. She's been sitting in there helping her paint and, and nail and, and tape her bed and, or tape and putting tape on stuff. Okay. I mean, I don't understand. Yeah. Tape holes and stuff? Yeah. No, just putting tape on stuff. You have to go and look. I mean, it's, I don't know. I just kind of weird. I don't know. Uh, my chair, she was cutting strips of grill tape and just. Huh? Okay. So, where we stand right now is this, this older lady. She is at the hospital right now. She has got a severe head injury. She was okay. Um. I don't know what caused it. Um, I don't even know who they've talked to on CDA because I haven't been there. Uh, I came to talk to you first because uh, every, I guess the lady that's painting the, the gold truck uh, has mentioned you. I guess she met you yesterday, met you today. Yeah, you know, yeah. Case and yeah. Yeah. So that's when they went and found you. And that's why I'm going to talk to you. Just to see if you know no. of anything that could have happened. Man, I don't, I don't know. I know that she said there's four people died real recently or not. Mm-hmm. Like, within weeks? That's all I know. Okay. I mean, that's all I know that she said. But you didn't get into an argument. Put your... No, 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 sir, no, sir, no, sir, no, sir. Okay. No, sir. Is... Would you have any problem with us checking the house on Garfield, 2101 Garfield, us going and look inside of it, see if, see if there's anything that can shed light on what happened on North Beverly? The only thing I got in there would probably be the application, but yeah, I mean, I don't care. Okay. Um, but you don't know this other lady's name, the one in the gold truck. Okay. She's sweet as hell. I mean, she's nice. Okay. Is there anything, you didn't take anything from the truck or anything like that? No, everything's here. Everything's inside the truck. Okay. Let me set that up real quick. See if they've got everybody to talk to out there on Walker, and I'll come out back in. Sure. Okay? Okay. 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 I hate to have to do this to you, but do you mind if we take your clothes? Okay. Now, since we have a suit out here, we can just put you, you dressed up in a suit. You can keep your shoes okay. and your socks, we'll just take your shirts. Okay. Everything I got will be tattooed, so yeah, you're all on. That's fine. Yeah, you're all on. You need my shoes? And I want your socks, man. I'm ready for your socks. That's all right. I'm sorry. 
Those those copper socks? Yes, sir. Those are. I've never Same. Seen those. Same, man. These are actually quite quite nice socks. Are they? Okay. So I'm gonna be late. Uh. I need something to call out here and see where they're at. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to turn on that. I'm sorry. Okay, no, no, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you on the lease in 2101? Yes, sir. You're on the lease there. Make sure Mr. Mr. Um, some Evans. I can't remember. Stanley's got the the address. Okay. Or the phone number, too. But yeah, I call him and. There's no funny thing, I'm going to get it, we're trying to get it all pulled out. We've got a big suit set up and all kinds of stuff set up to get food from the out. Yeah. Okay. All right, let me see what we're at. They are, I guess we're getting pretty close to dying where they're at. So we're going to go ahead and go over to uh, House and Garfield. Uh, once we get down there, we can stay there, get you some change clothes or whatever. Thank you, sir. So. So it's 2101 and 2101 Garfield. What's the, is there a, is there a one or half? Yeah, it's about one. Okay. okay, there's just 2101 and a half. Okay, so I don't have a physical description of your house right now because I'm not looking at it. Um, I'm going to give this to you. You can read it if you want to. I'll read it to you. But I'm feeling, I'm going to fill in the description once we get out there, okay? So it says, I'm Byron Ricard, Rickard, is that right? Yes, yes Rickard. Having been informed of, uh, about a hereafter named Texas peace officer that I have the constitutional right to be free from having him or other officers make a warrantless search of the hereafter mentioned premises under my control and constitutional right to refuse to give him or any other officer consent to make a search and that such rights are guaranteed to me both by the Texas and federal constitutions. Do hereby officer, uh, do, do hereby authorize Officer McPherson and any other officers working with him to conduct a complete search of the following place located at 21 New Garfield. And to seize and take there from any item of personal or real property that may, that may be, that may believe to constitute evidence in a criminal proceeding. I have given the consent of my own free will and accord and without being subjected to any threats or promises. I know that any item of personal and real property seized by the named officer or other officers with him and taken by them from such premises can will be used against me in criminal proceeding. Um, I can sign it or contest it too? Because I, I, need, I, I, I can't really understand the whole, that's like trying to read a Bible to me. Okay, so what this is telling you is that you have a constitutional right to be free from any kind of search Okay. That's that's what it's saying. You're you're free to make your own decision. I'm asking you for consent for us to go inside and search for any evidence. I thought you already did that, though. We haven't been at 2101 Garfield. Oh, well. So that's what we want to do. We just want to go in there and see if there's anything constituting as evidence in this case. Well, I mean, I don't know what might else be in there. That's the whole thing. I mean, I don't, I didn't clean the house up. I'd have to contest it. I mean, I would, I, I would give you permission, but I still have to contest it because I don't. Okay. If you're not willing to give consent, that's fine. Yeah, I, I, I need to kind of wait. It, it's not that. It's the next door neighbors. Man, they come over there and they shoot dope when I'm out okay. there and shit. And no big deal. I mean, other than that, I mean, I really wouldn't have a damn problem. I mean, okay, that's fine. No big deal. I really no wouldn't have a problem at all. I mean, if you get a warrant, shit, not a problem. I mean, it's not like I'm going anywhere to, I mean, I'll be right there now. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. All right. So that's what we'll do, and then we'll, uh, we'll just be a little bit longer, okay? All right. Is there anything else that you can think of at this time that can help us with this uh, lady having her injury? No. No. It's, I'm just, uh, I'm, and you're positive you left there at noon. You didn't come back. No, they left. It brought me lunch, and then I and then you left. Yes, sir. Right, right around noon or so. And yeah, I think you never came back to the house on North Beverly. Mm, no, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Stand by. Though Byron's legal team expressed that he would be incompetent to stand trial, Byron Ricard was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole.
According to the prosecution, the district attorney did not seek the death penalty for Ricard because of his background of mental issues. 